Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Lisa. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you and hope that you will consider to subscribe after you're finished watching this video. In this video, I will show you guys how I prepare my creamy marinara meatballs. And these are made with beef. So if you do not eat beef, you can substitute it for ground beef, ground pork, ground turkey, ground lamb, whichever meats you like. Um, if you've seen my creamy marinara pasta video, then the sauce that I've made in that video is the same sauce that I've made in this video to go with my meatballs. And I'm going to have this with spaghetti. So enjoy this video. Before I start with today's recipe, I would like to encourage you all to head on over to Rivette Gardner's YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Mr. Rivette Gardner is from USA, Missouri, and he loves to cook. And on his channel, you'll find a wide variety of different dishes from different cultures. He knows how to make American food, Mexican food, Italian food, you name it, he has it. So head on over there, subscribe, and tell him Cooking with Lisa sent you. Here I have my ground beef and like I said if you don't eat ground beef then you can use ground lamb, pork, chicken, turkey, whatever meat you like and the quantity of meat you want to use in this recipe is totally up to you. I'm going to use green seasoning, salt, pepper, dried oregano and some ground allspice to marinate my meat with. You can use whichever seasonings you like and I'm using green seasoning because it's blended fresh herbs. Next, I'm going to take some of the seasoned beef and shape it into a ball. And the size you want to make these meatballs is totally up to you. I'm going to let the meatball brown a little bit before I put it in the sauce. Some people choose not to do this step. Instead, they choose to take the meatballs and put it right in the sauce and let it simmer until it's cooked all the way through. Once the meatballs are browned on one side, flip them over and let them get brown again on the other side. The meatballs are browned nicely on both sides. Now I'm going to remove them and place them on some tissue paper to get rid of some of that oil. So the next step is to make the delicious creamy sauce and to my pot here I've added some milk and grated cheddar cheese and I'm going to mix this until the cheese is nicely melted. After you're done mixing the cheese and the milk, add one jar of pasta sauce and mix it well together. Then add the meatballs in there and just let this simmer away for about 20 to 25 minutes. Look at the creaminess of that sauce. You can let it reduce to however thicker thin you want and make sure that the meatballs are cooked all the way through. And here you go guys, my meatball recipe. I'm going to have this with some spaghetti. And as you know, spaghetti and meatball go so well together. That's all for today's video. If you find it helpful, please hit that like button and enjoy this delicious meal. Bye!